Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to do something a bit different. This is £10. There's many, many things you can do with £10. You can buy 20 litres of whole milk, 66 eggs, or you can buy, I don't know, £10 worth of roaches and cockroaches and blueberries for your pet lizard. Unfortunately, neither me or the lizards are hungry or thirsty, but I know someone who is though. Yes, of course, I was referring to the C63. Please excuse all the dirt and grime on the car. So, what we're going to be doing today, we are, we've got a challenge. And the challenge is, how far can you get with £10 of fuel? I just want to point out this isn't my idea. Um, I'm going to commend Real Talk. He's a YouTuber who came up with this idea like three years ago, um, and I got my inspiration from this video. And I've always wondered. Well, I've always had I've always had the idea of doing this in my C63, but I've never got around to doing it until now. So here we go. So before we get started, does anyone have any any guesses of like what MPG I'll get and how many miles I'll be able to achieve on the ten pounds? So right, let's get down to the petrol station, shall we? Okay guys, we just pulled up to the petrol station and we are now on half a tank and my computer is saying that I've got 120 miles to go. So now we're gonna fill up 10 pounds and then we'll see how much extra mileage, extra like range it will give me. And then basically we're just gonna throw 10 pounds into the bin to see what sort of results we get. Rock and roll. Right guys, as you can see, uh, we are now on 179 miles just after filling up. We are on 118 before. So if my maths is correct, that is 60. <laughs> uh, well, it's 178 now, so it better be quick. So yeah, 60 miles is basically what 10 pound has given me. And it's given me between half and three quarters, but more towards three quarters of a tank. So let's not waste any time and see what we can get. Right, so before we set off, I should probably reset the trip computer as well. So it's, you know, accurate. There we go, right, let's go, let's go. So off we go. Well, immediately we are doing a 21 miles per gallon, which is fantastic. So this £10 challenge I'm going to be doing is going to be very varied and mixed like how I'd normally do my daily commute. It's not going to be very biased and I'm going to be rinsing the fuel tank. I'm not going to be doing like a super eco mode either. I'm going to drive exactly how I do it. So we're going to do some mixed driving. So we're going to do some town driving, um, some like country roads or whatever. And then we'll do a bit of dual carriageway as well. Um, so the way I normally drive through town is quite antisocial quite annoying so I like to you know go on and off the accelerator many many times because you know you get to hear noises and it's a bit, bit maybe it's my inner child loving to you know be a bit antisocial but yeah hearing noises around town generally doesn't get you good MPG so that's what we're going to start with bit of town driving and see what we MPGs we get but unfortunately we are now stuck in traffic and we're not moving very fast to be antisocial. So my MPGs, as I can see, are was dwindling. 20 miles. Oh 19.9 miles per gallon. Put it in manual mode so you get some more noises and more action out of the exhaust. Like that very nice day today where you can actually you know put some put some of the power down and extract uh, 6.2 v8 
so my guess is it's going to be around probably I don't know 17 miles per gallon and I think we'll probably get about 40 miles maybe it's a bit ambitious 30 to 40 miles come on I'm gonna commit I'm gonna commit what number are we gonna get we're gonna get a 35 miles Okay, so I've just had a look at my um, distance and it was like 178 before and I've literally only done about four minutes driving or something and it's already saying I've done 190 miles left. I've, I've literally eaten 10 pounds already. What am I gonna do for this video? That, that's pretty, um, that's not very promising, is it, for this video? So I'm gonna completely ignore the digital display and I am going to basically just go off the needle. So yeah, that's out. The digital display is now out of the window. I'm gonna go off the needle and see how far it's gonna take me. Right, so, so far, how much miles per gallon have we done in town? We've done 15.6 miles per gallon and two miles and about seven minutes of our journey time. So I'm, because I'm a bit aware, a bit wary of how much miles we'll be using and I want this video to be a bit more, I want to prolong this video a bit more than it already has been. I'm going to go onto some like country roads now and see what we can get now. Situation update, I am on 144 miles, 145, it's going back up again. Yeah, this computer is very um, intermittent with, well, what it is thinks it's gone it's tank and yeah we're on country roads I've just gone through a village doing some spirited driving I've done 16 miles per gallon and I've done three miles I can't believe it literally went down from 178 miles to literally from where I started 100, 118 or whatever it was I can't believe how quickly it diminished just by a few miles driving it's ridiculous. It's, 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 it's funny, but quite annoying because I've, I've had this video idea for quite a while now and, and literally two minutes in, I've literally just kind of ruined my own video due to my own silly driving. But come on, let's see what we can get out of this, uh, this drive, shall we? corner listen to those noises stuff up the noise this car makes it just wants to make you like go and smash something like I don't know it gets you so excited it makes you want to like clinch your fist if you've got 20 to 25 grand to spare you should buy one of these immediately. Oh, that kick down. It took me by surprise, if I'm honest. Right, another update. Uh, after that uh, spirited affair of lots of driving, 
um, we are now at 14.7 miles per gallon. We've done six miles. Yeah, this is why I'm going in six miles, is that it? And what is my computer telling me? That's 133 miles. And the needle is, well, it's closer to half than it was before. It was more close to the three quarters. And it's not even halfway anymore. It's actually closer to the half part. But we are now going to be approaching some, like, more polar bear friendly roads, I should say straight roads there hasn't been many like lots of kick downs or whatever because um, this is the more economical part of the drive so we're gonna put our foots down and that's be like the rest of the spirit of driving for today we're just now gonna take it all in and do a nice smoother approach of driving and see how efficient this car really can be when you do have variations of driving. I just want to say I want to debunk a myth about these C63s. I don't think they're that economic, uneconomical as people make them out to be. Like I, I do understand 6.2 V8 very thirsty. It, it does go through fuel when you drive it fast but is it really that bad as people think it is? I, I don't I don't really think so if I'm honest. I don't necessarily think that these cars are really that bad. Of course it does depend on like how you drive it, but I just don't think that they're that bad. And I, I'm I'm hoping my video can prove this. Like I've been through town going on and off the accelerator going you know changing downshifting staying in like second gear at silly speeds now I was down the country roads blasting and whatnot and I'm still doing well apart from like the past couple of minutes I mean I was, I was on, on about what 15 miles per gallon it's not that bad I hear people in like group like groups saying oh my s3 or my m140i when I it only gets like 21 miles per gallon or 18 or whatever when they're driving it like hard and i've been driving mine hard for the majority and i'm doing what well it was about 15 ish mpg and considering the size of the engine and the, the nature of the engine it really doesn't want to be economical but despite that what 15 miles per gallon doing all that driving and it's not that much worse off than you get like the two liter like s3s golf r's when you push them really hard so, yeah, I, I don't think that these cars are that bad on fuel. For what it is, of course. If you were comparing it to like a diesel, then yeah, it's terrible. But for what this is, it's not that bad. Quick opportunity to put our foot down. Someone's let me go. My MPGs will probably tumble after this. Juice, and I'm so I can 
get home, have some dinner. Right, no one's behind me. I might as well just put my foot down the slip road and see what my master gun does now. Yeah, it got up to very legal speeds very quickly. <laughs> that was fun. And only knocked my MPGs by like what, 0 0.1, 0.2. .1, so not bad whatsoever. We're gonna go 70 miles an hour, cruise control now on a dual carriageway. Situation update. My GoPro ran out of battery, so now I can't film my displays. You can only see me now, so I have to relay the information towards you. So I've had to stop temporarily, um, which is not good. Just had to pull out quickly there, so I could um, continue the filming. But yeah, not the ideal situation I wanted to be in, because obviously I wanted you to see the, the you know, relevant information on my displays but it's you can't be helped go through and have a battery I should have bought another battery for it so the needle what's that doing it's not it's quite close to the half point halfway point but it's not quite there yet I reckon we can get another a bit up well I think the 35 miles is a bit ambitious if I'm strictly honest at the moment we are doing uh, 14 miles, 17.4 miles per gallon. We've been on the run for 32 minutes. It's just a waiting game now. How long will my car last? The remaining few centimetres, not even now, millimetres of that needle. How much miles am I going to be able to eke out of this fuel tank until I reach that halfway point? Love it! It's brilliant! I love MPG tests, it's so fascinating. Update! Great news! I've got great news for you because we're on 17 miles uh, so far and I said I was going to get 35 miles so it's just about halfway there so if we do drive a bit more consistently then maybe we can get that golden 35 miles but who knows. But I have been driving on these sort of roads for a bit too long now. It has been quite stop start, it's not been on off the accelerator, um, a, a few traffic lights here and there. But during the like dual, dual carriageway and straight line line roads, it's been a bit inconsistent, but obviously it is allowing my car to be a bit more efficient and I don't want it to be like that, I want it to be mixed. So I'm gonna start putting my foot down a bit more and find, maybe go back into town. So, here we go. The right foot will be applied right now. update so I've been watching the needle religiously and it's finally just hit the like the halfway point so yeah I'm gonna call it there take your guesses of what sort of um, MPG I got how many distance I covered and then when I get home I will relay the information back to you I've been driving around in town now manual mode downshifting on and off the accelerator just to try and like get rid of some range because it's going on a bit too long but I will yeah when I get home I will tell you the results and uh, you may be surprised may not but here we go okay guys we just got back had to drive a couple of minutes so my readings aren't completely accurate but I remember what they are but yeah here we go so 
28 miles, 60.7 miles per gallon is what it says, but when I actually recorded it getting to half a tank on the, on the needle, it was 25 miles and it was 17.1 miles per gallon. And I think that's brilliant, if I'm honest. I mean, I was bang on actually about the, the miles per gallon. I, I, had a, I had a little feeling it might be that. And I did try to mix it as much as possible in terms of like driving. So yeah, they are the numbers. 17.1 miles per gallon and 25 miles is what I achieved. Well, there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed that 10 pounds challenge. Um, I'm actually quite shocked. I still can't believe like how like ridiculous I was driving at times and I still managed to get 17.1 miles per gallon out of all of that and 25 miles. It sounds terrible from a financial point of view. I've lost 10 pounds for pretty much nothing, but it was fun. And this car, it's, I'm lost for words. It's, it's basically a Prius, that's what it is. It's, it's, actually, it's not that bad of fuel, it really isn't. Especially the thing you factor in like, this is the, the displacement of this engine. I can't believe I've got that MPG. Like some people would probably think, yeah, maybe eight, nine. But let me know what you thought about this video and what you thought I was going to get in terms of range wise and MPG wise. Um, and uh, if there's any ideas you have for another video you'd like to see in this car or yeah, uh, on this car, then please do comment below. Uh, so yeah, and thank you for all the new subscribers. Uh, recently I've been getting a lot of um, attention on this channel and a lot more new subs so hello to you all uh, thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the future